But it's nice to kind of be in a place where now our house feels clean. Uh, because there's a, there's a big sort of change in overall expectations when you get together with somebody. You should have that conversation of like, what does, what does clean look like for you? Because everybody has their own definition of what clean looks like. Varies from person to person. I think a lot of times it's kind of carried over from whatever cleanliness of household you grew up in. So like, I know some people, if you were to come home and let's say the night before you left out like a pizza box and a couple of dishes in the sink and a couple of cans out, you don't think anything of it. Growing up, if I had come home to my house and walked in the kitchen and seen all of those items there, I then would have called 911 uh, because my mother has been kidnapped. There, there's no way she left the house of her own accord with those things left behind. So. But it's important to have those conversations about, about cleanliness. We've kind of gotten now to a point where we're, we're, we're vacuum shopping. Actually, I bought a new vacuum last year uh, that cost more than I spent on video games in a year. So I got my adult merit badge for that one. Which, yeah, it feels good. And I like vacuuming. I honestly, I have to be honest, I like vacuuming. I didn't, I didn't always, I think I've just been doing it for a long period of time that I've gotten pretty good at it. And I'm, I'm also just, I love vacuuming because I love our vacuum now because it's not the vacuum I had as a kid. And all the vacuums that you had when you were five or six years old were just incredibly heavy and unwieldy and you were supposed to do stairs with them even though they couldn't go on stairs. <laughs> okay, I smell burnt carpet. That can't be right. Man. I don't know who this Dyson dude is, but that dude hated vacuuming growing up. It's like, it's so out of beauty and heavy. I don't know if that's what his accent is, but that's what I've convinced myself of, at least. I got pretty good with vacuum cleaners. I got good at fixing vacuum cleaners because uh, when I went to college uh, in my fraternity, we'd never had a new vacuum cleaner. We just had like a legion fleet of all the other old vacuums that parents <laughs> would give to us. It was like sending a, it was like sending a telling you telling somebody you like sent the dog to a farm upstate. It's like, well, we're gonna send Hoover away to the fraternity. <laughs> but there's lots of long open hallways there, lots of new things for it to pick up along the way. It's, this is what it wants. <laughs> but we had to keep a whole bunch because we would have a party fire up one of the vacuums, it would go about 20 feet, and then there would be a loud noise, some smoke, and it would stop working. Like, okay, next one. All right, there we go. <laughs> when I moved out of college, I actually really wanted to get a, uh, a Roomba. I moved into a house with three other guys. I was like, look, we don't like vacuuming. Wouldn't a Roomba be kind of like a perfect solution for us? And then I saw the size of a Roomba. And I was like, that's ah, not gonna work. <laughs> that's too small. That thing will go like three feet, just Okay, now I'm full. All right, I'm just gonna back. Empty that out. Maybe I'll pick a new direction this time. Okay. Wow, that that felt above my pay grade. Okay, all right. Let's... All right. <laughs> I like our new vacuum though. It's, um, it's very nice. We actually, uh, I like our vacuum so much that we actually have to play a game to decide who gets to vacuum the apartment. And uh, my wife never wins uh, because I never let her play. I think she'll do it wrong. I don't know if that's... Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed telling it. Make sure to download the official Dry Bar Comedy app and use my name, Drew Barth, when you sign up. And I'll get a, a thumbs up and a lollipop and a couple of hats. Is that right? I get hats? I think I get hats. Something. Drew Barth, when you sign up.